my final day of being in Cornwall and I've chosen to come down to the Lizard Peninsula. You can see why this place is so special and black and white is just made for this, particularly on a day with these cloud structures. Look at how special this place is. And don't forget all of these pictures were taken by me on my iPhone. They are just cell phone pictures and you can do pictures like this too. It's really, really easy. So let's continue the walk down. This is a great rugged place to be. And we're walking down a uh, narrow pathway and then suddenly in front of us, look what opens up this fantastic cove and this has got to be my my picture of the day look at that with the rocks in the foreground and that lovely dark shadow uh, on the right that's a great capture and look at that water doesn't it make you want to go for a swim uh, well let's concentrate on photography uh, and continue on the walk to see if we can find more pictures but this i think could end up being the picture of the day well this is mainland Britain's most southerly point. This is Lizard Point in Cornwall. And that is the end of the UK when you go southward. And it makes for some great pictures around here. Absolutely stunning scenery, stunning seas, stunning lighting. I'll just flip the camera around for you to see just about every direction here is a stunning view. You can't fail to take some great pictures down here, but be prepared. It's a bit windy, as you can probably tell. I'll just have a walk around the corner here. And if memory serves me correct, was there an old light, uh, lifeboat station? Yeah, there was around here. It's down there, look. And from the cliff top up above, it makes for some really great pictures. Look, look at that. Can you see it? All down there. And at low tide, like it is now, you can go down and get some really great pictures of that old gnarled woodwork. Really nice. Goodness, who wouldn't want to be here? But for now, we'll continue the walk along to one of Cornwall's most famous beauty spots. Here I am at Kynance Cove. This is one of the most picturesque coves in Cornwall. Beautiful, clear, turquoise waters, uh, fantastic sand, lots of people playing, enjoying themselves. Uh, when the sea comes in, you get lots of splashing off those rocks on the beach. Loads of pictures to be had here. Let's go and take a look. It's nice when you get somewhere that's got a lot of people to look around and find that human interest. And over there, I can see a great picture. Come and have a look. Over here, winding through, and there's a family over here, look, on the rock behind. Look at that, what a fantastic place to enjoy this scenery. So, I'm going to go and ask them if they mind having the picture taken. I hope so. Of course they didn't mind, they were only too pleased to pose, and what a great place this family have found to, uh, to sit together and enjoy that scenery. Wonderful, I'm really pleased with this picture. And uh, if you're watching, thank you very much to that family for, uh, for posing for this picture. Oh, look at that, the gulls are here, hovering overhead in the wind to see if anybody drops a bit of their sandwich. And I can't resist the opportunity of uh, taking a picture. What am I doing? <laughs> Using an iPhone uh, to do uh, pictures of, uh, of wildlife. Um, not really the ideal thing, but don't be put off. If you can get in close enough, give it a go, why not? Here are the last couple of pictures from my uh, journey through today. This is kind of, I love it. I love the way the light is hitting those rocks. I love the people giving it that scale uh, and just enjoying the sea and those craggy dark rocks in the background really making the picture. Here's, uh, here's another one as we uh, are walking along the coastal path and you can see that path winding its way, look, on the right hand side with the steps down. And uh, it's beautiful the way that the light is hitting all those uh, those rocks that would be normally, uh, they're all smoothed over, look, they'd normally be uh, covered up by the high tide. But as nice as these are, these aren't 
my picture of the day I'm going to go back to the first picture that beautiful cove and choose an upright of that for the edit so here we go with the joy photography Adobe Photoshop edit of the picture of the day and let's start by grayscaling it and we're going to cut out this area over here the dark shaded area and we're going to inverse that selection modify it feather it 120 my favorite pixel feather and we're going to be taking down everything that isn't that black area so inverse now we're working on the black area and we're going to bring the whites right the way in and we'll start to see some detail coming into that you know people say you can't recover detail from jpegs I, i've never found that this is a jpeg straight off the phone now as you can see it's lost that little area across the top there which made it light but i'm just going to burn that in because it's black anyway on the rock so i uh, i'm going to find that quite easy so let's cut the sky out just go around there feather 120 now make that 80 um and bring it down a bit of red filter work look uh, so we got some bit of action in those clouds so now i think uh i'll go on to the dodge tool uh i like to dodge and burn anybody that watches uh i like to have the dodge tool uh set on highlights so now i'm just bringing up the whites and the, the, the highlights with this dodge tool i'm flicking around i have speeded this up uh, so that you can see uh what i'm doing all around the rock now this rock's going to come out really nicely i'm going to just be hitting the top bits of the rock where the light's hitting it at the top with the dodge tool look can you see i'm just bringing the light out painting that right there across the top where the light would be hitting it just as though you were painting you know and uh with my dodge tool get all the highlights lifted uh, that's starting to look nice a little bit around the coast there a little bit of white water and work it gently and now go onto the burn tool and the burn tool i set to shadows so now i'm just darkening the shadows i'm essentially adding contrast here but um in a very controlled way so here i go flicking around with a relatively small brush nothing too fast quick and on this rock this time i shall be diving into the uh into the nooks and crevices look around underneath where we've done those highlights and the same over on this sign where you would expect the shade to be underneath so let's do a little bit more cutting out okay so i'm just going to take that little bit of spillage off the corner and i'm essentially done i'm not going to overwork this picture i like it as it is there we go that's my picture of the day and the very last picture from my wonderful week in cornwall shooting with the iphone some lovely black and white images i really really have enjoyed bringing this week-long joy of photography to you i hope you've enjoyed watching and i hope you've been inspired to go out with your own cell phone and take some great black and white pictures too and if you get chance if you're in the uk check out cornwall it's a great place to be see you soon